Hello, uh, this is, uh, I guess, a very rare Saturday Reads for me. Kind of a Saturday Reads, a sort of a check-in video. Um, what am I reading? I'm reading uh, Sometimes You Have to Lie, the, uh, the uh, Life and Times of Louise Fitzhugh, renegade author of uh, Harriet the Spy. Uh, it's a uh, biography of Louise Fitzhugh, author of Harriet the Spy. Uh, I heard about this on Steve Donahue's channel about a month or so ago and immediately pre-ordered it. And it got uh, beamed onto my uh, Kindle on the first, so I've been I've been reading that, and it's been a really fascinating book. Uh, Louise Fitzhugh, born in like 1929, uh, you know, um, kind of raised in kind of the kind of Memphis Memphis area, uh, kind of uh, Jim Crow South, um, coming up to uh, uh, New York in. Uh, in, in kind of in the in the early 50s really uh, sort of fascinating book at this point she's in she's in her, her she's in her late 20s something like that and she's in Greenwich Village uh, kind of rubbing shoulders um, Louise Fitzhugh who uh, yeah it's, probably is uh, is probably is a you know a gay woman at this time uh, one of these things that you, I don't think I ever thought about with uh, Harriet the spy Harriet the spy being the big reason I, I'm reading this book is uh, uh, a um, her her big the big work that she is known for uh, this children's book about uh, a little girl who keeps notebooks and uh, spies spies on everybody she uh, she's noting it down she's basically kind of the uh, embryonic nosy nosy r writer and uh, uh, her uh, book her notebooks uh, getting discovered by her friends and her kind of the the ram the 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 uh, fallout from that I'm actually. I, I made the decision as I was reading this is like, oh, I need to read Harriet the Spy as I'm reading this because uh, uh, Leslie Brody, the author, you know, is going to have her own views on on uh, Louise Fitzhugh and on her own views on um, what what Harriet the Spy means as the ambulances go by. Um, out there helping people. Good to good for them. Um, but, um, I wanted, I, I have a very kind of my own personal connection to Harriet the Spy, uh, as a kind of a lonely bookish kid who, who had his own notebooks as a kid who probably took a lot of inspiration from, uh, Harriet the Spy. So I wanted to, uh, do a reread because I hadn't read Harriet the Spy in the longest of times, uh, as I was reading this book. So it's kind of a slow read of Harriet the Spy as I work at my usual lightning pace pace through uh that book so but so far yeah thank you steve really really interesting book uh i'm also listening to uh the second part of what's basically a two-part story of from uh from jim butcher the harry dresden files uh, the first book being peace talks where we get all the setup for some gigantic climactic urban fantasy battle uh in in in, in peace talks and now we seems in in battleground we're getting a completely ridiculous uh all climax book of all battles which i'm not so much you know it's like more like build up build up build up oh yeah there's a battle and then there's oh ramification ramification so uh, this may not be the most uh uh most um uh enjoyed uh, uh harry dresden book for me we'll see i'm about halfway through uh he is the kind of he is the kind of author that um if you're if he's rescuing a family and there's a little kid, the little kid is going to have to hold a teddy bear. Um, if there's evil marauders coming marauding through the city, there's got to be a daycare full of little tots for for Harry to save. He is he is uh, good or ill. He is always the uh, the uh, the the uh, the dirty um, scruffy nerf herder uh, knight. Um, you know, with all his with all his problems, Jim Butcher is is total cheese in my opinion. But uh, it's 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 fun cheese. I probably wouldn't have gotten to this book as quickly as I did because I usually try and space out my uh, doses of Jim Butcher uh, high fat cheese. Uh, but because this is basically just a continuation of the last book, I, I've I've jumped on that. Um, and it's just been a it's it's been a good thing to read, to have to have going in my head. Um, I had sad news. Um, probably 
you've seen on this channel that I have two dogs. I have uh, a little Labradoodle who is right there and is probably checking out to see if there's any birds or uh, the uh, cat from next door that she can bark at because oh, she just loves that. Just so much fun and the, the cat likes to sit on its side of the fence and just hiss and and they, they, they just they just hate love each other. They're they're perfect frenemies. Um so yeah, we've got uh Shira. Um we also had uh Haley, uh who uh was a fifteen year old Airedale who had you know, for the last couple of years, um her back end hasn't been that great. Um you know, she's basically kind of lost her nerve endings in her rear end. Um, she's been sleeping in the kitchen for that reason, you know, it was, it was just part of thing. We kind of cleaned up after her each day and helped her up in the mornings and got her going. And, you know, she was still a dog who really loved to go down and get her cookies and stuff like that. But unfortunately, um, she just sort of ran out, ran, you know, she had, she had a really, really, really good run. Uh, it was a really, uh, joyful affectionate um good dog but by the end there um you know the even the kind of the allure of cookies was was kind of waning and um yeah so she passed away uh about it's probably i god it's been two probably two weeks now and i'm still leaving modeling modeling comments on uh Steve Donahue videos about it so I figured I'd maybe I should just make a video of it and just sort of get it out of my system um you know thank you to anybody out there who you know has 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 um their their sympathies there I I, I just needed to say it and kind of get it out of my system here and um yeah yeah we're gonna we're gonna keep on uh you know sadly trucking along but trucking along nevertheless uh, yeah, yeah, so not, not great, not great, but, um, you know, we, I got to have Haley in my life for 15 whole years of headbutting and ho, 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 or Airedale humor, uh, a very, <laughs> uh, which I really, really, really enjoyed, and she was a good mentor to, to the little doodle over there, and, um, yeah, yeah. I appreciate her. So bye to Haley and more videos later.